so here is the furnace with the pump removed. Now, this is the pump tube. It unscrews here, and there should be, um, you can use a washer or an O-ring up in here, whichever you prefer. But the important thing to realize is this guy right here, it's called an NRV, which is a non-return valve, and you need to make sure it's going to work properly so that uh, fuel doesn't come up inside the tube. It's a one-way valve, basically. So, this is the little NRV that we have in here. The little spring goes on here like this, goes into the tube like this, and screws on the end of the pump tube right there. Now, the important thing to do is to make sure that this pip that's right here, or this little rubber pip, is fresh and resilient. And honestly, mine's kind of gotten dried out, so I'm going to make a new one. Um, but if that's, that's not resilient uh, and not sealing good, then what can happen is the, when you pump this sucker up, uh, the Coleman fuel will just back up into the tube, past the pump cup, and come squirting out here. And if things are lit, you're going to have flame, bad, bad, not good. So that's what we got to deal with. Okay, so I've replaced the uh, pip with a blue Viton pip. Viton's great for this. If you can get it, uh, you know, get some Viton. It's very fuel resistant. And we can put that back together. And now we'll be sure we don't have any uh, <coughs> fuel accidents. Let me put my pips away here. And you can cut them yourself. Just get yourself a, a punch set off of eBay or wherever. Okay, so this goes back in here. Uh, and screw that puppy down. A big adjustable crescent will handle it. Alright. Now, your, your uh, pump cup, you need to soak it in oil. If you haven't already if you don't have a, a if it's dried out or anything you soak it in oil and then that goes on the uh, these little dental tools can be real useful for working pips and the pit cups. Alright, let's see what we got here. Now the way this thing works there's this little guy right here, this little rod. Now this rod, here, let's just undo it. Let's see if we undo it here. Oh boy. This rod is what has the jet <laughs> in it. And the jet is really tiny. It's a little tiny itty bitty hole. And it's right there. And that jet squirts the fuel up. So the reason it's out here is that originally you would have just turned this like this and it would squirt fuel and fill up this cup. There's a cup, the base, right there. Right in here there's a cup at the base at the base of this shroud. And by turning this upside down you Fill that up with fuel, then you know close the valve, and then turn it upright again, and it's flat, so you know exactly where it's pointed. Okay, so we put that back in. Anyway, and then getting the fuel in there like that, that gives you something to preheat your stove with, because inside here is this big coil, and that's what is your generator. It's a coil generator. Yeah, let's see. Flashlight always helpful. Yeah. Okay, yeah, there's my jet. And so when it's in there, you can actually adjust it a little bit to get the flame centered in here if you need to. Alright, so uh, I think I'm going to put some more fuel in here. And then I'll show you how I light it. So it's a little short on fuel. Fuel filler. And undo that baby there. 
the whole thing comes off and you may have a lead gasket in here but this is where the gasket is right here it should be a gasket I don't remember what it, whether I had lead in there or rubber I honestly don't remember but I replaced whatever I had there with this big Viton o-ring or not o-ring but gasket I made and you can see if you pull that out that's what it looks like without it all right so put that puppy back in and I don't have much fuel in here right now so we're gonna fill it up um, you know use a fuel filter if you got it use clean Coleman fuel uh, you know if you really want to use gasoline you can do it but uh, boy, modern American gasoline is so full of crap anymore uh, it's just not like the gasoline they would have been using in in this stove when it was first built uh, nowadays there's so many anti-knock and anti-pinging and uh, chemicals to keep it running at really low temperatures plus there's all that ethanol they put in now uh, so for pollution control this is not the same stuff and and with all those additives they're gonna goop up that that metal coil that acts as a generator so I try to avoid automobile gasoline whenever possible because it's just not the same fuel that people were using back in the day on these or any any uh, appliance whether it's uh, a furnace or a Coleman stove that just or like those stoves back there you know, don't use auto gas in those. Use Coleman fuel. Or Crown is another brand. Just any type of good quality naphtha camp stove fuel. And yeah, it costs more money. Sorry. All right, so start this puppy up. First thing you want to do is pump it up. Now I have a fan going across the other side of the room because I was in here making sausages early today. Hang on, I gotta go do something. This is a big container and there's not much fuel in it, so I'm gonna put a lot of pumps into it. Well, good enough just to get it going and we'll see see if we need to add some later all right so this little door opens up and there's a cup in there as i already said and normally you'd use that well in back in the day you'd use actual fuel out of here and use that little uh jet the jet lever that i showed you but another way you could heat it up is just to get in here with a torch and it doesn't have to be uh whatever this is it can just be propane <laughs> it doesn't have to be uh, fancy gas and you could just heat it up like this it's fine if you've got a gasoline operated blowtorch that's fine too i like to nature alcohol because went to all the trouble to clean all this up and it stays cleaner so i just squirt that into the cup denatured alcohol and then i light that sucker up there we go and i shut my little door There we go. And then that has to preheat, which takes a couple of minutes. So incredibly boring. We'll come back to that.
second or two because there's gasoline in that coil, or excuse me, in our case, Coleman fuel in that coil. So it takes a while for it to finish vaporizing off. Now, if you get tired of waiting, you can always just go like that, <laughs> like me. <laughs> 